Minewind, The Last Frontier. Can you brave the wilderness? If you've played on an Anarchy server like Minewind before, beyond a shadow of a doubt you've been scammed, lied to, bamboozled, tricked, whatever negative verb you want to use, at some point in your career. If not, consider yourself very lucky, because it's happened to the rest of us, countless times. If I had a dime for every single time I got raided, scammed, tricked, bamboozled, whatever you want to say, I'd have at least $10. As a elite player, I wanted to make this list to help people not get deceived. So let's get to it. How to not be scammed. Not everyone is a scammer, so there's no need to live in fear, but here's some signs to tell if they are. The first way you can tell if you're dealing with a scammer is if they take forever to drop their item, but are really impatient when it comes to you dropping yours. There's not too much to say about this, except for they want you to drop your item as quick as possible because they don't want to give you that time period to actually think it through and realize, hey, I might be dealing with a scammer. So the next thing that you're going to want to do to prevent yourself from being scammed is to always e-bone the person you're trading with beforehand. Because a lot of the time, they won't even have the item that you actually want in the first place. And if you guys didn't know from one of my previous videos or just in general, the ender bone is just a it's, a, it's an item, it's a sharpness one bone, I have one right here. And what happens is when you right click another player with it, you can see inside of their inventory. So if you guys don't have any ender bones, I'd highly recommend buying some. They generally go for like a dragon egg per stack or less, and it makes trading a whole lot safer. And it's also just cool to run around spawn being nosy in other people's inventories, honestly. So yeah, go buy some if you don't have any. So the third way of telling if somebody's going to scam you or not is if they have absolutely no trading reputation at all. Like if you ask in chat, which generally I do before I trade with people that I don't know, and nobody backs them up, they're gonna scam you, I'm sorry to say. But Sky, what if they are a new player, and that's why they have no reputation? It is hard to build your reputation as a new player on the Minewind server. And I feel for all the noobs who have to go through that, but I still don't trade with them. Because I don't know where they've been, they probably, those dags are probably like, diseased or something. I don't trade with orphans. So now that we've gone through how to not get scammed, how do you not get raided? Because being raided is the single biggest thing that makes players quit the Mindwind server. In fact, I've quit three times because I got raided. The number one biggest way that I've seen bases fall, and I mean big bases, on the Mindwind server is by player betrayal. And there's a couple different reasons why a player can betray you. One of them would be for your wealth, which a lot of the time it is, but then also a lot of the time it's for your social clout as well. Never mind the reasons why you get betrayed, how do you get around it? Make pretty bases with your friends, and make functional ones by yourself. Have a random hole in the ground, 100,000 blocks from your other base, that's just chess. And if your main base, which you're going to spend most of your time at, the pretty one, that you're with your friends, ever gets raided, you still have a decent chunk of stuff. You're not completely homeless. So yeah, just don't put all of your trust in another player ever, because it's almost always going to fall through. Another thing, and this one's simple, don't invite players that aren't part of a base to see your base. I don't care how much you trust them, just don't do it. It's just don't, honestly. And that is all. So, how did I get wild killed? In all my time playing Minewind, I've only ever gotten wild killed twice. One of which was when I was less than 100 days, it was my first base, got raided, blah blah blah. Another time was last week. A player by the name of A077 lured me into the wild by having an account by the name of Ninjago7 ask me for a far out TP. Which I provided to the player and then he teleported in. AO77. Who killed me? 
So yeah, getting wild killed is not fun. With that being said, let me share my tricks on how I've only gotten wild killed twice in my entire career. So, if you really don't want to get wild killed, just don't teleport anyone to you at all. But I know, if you want to actually have any sort of experience on the server, you're not going to want to just not see anyone in the wild ever. Generally, I just limit the people that I see in wild to close friends or clan members, allies, people that I know aren't going to kill me for sure. And that gives me enough people to where I know that I'm not going to die, but I'm also not just lonely sitting in my base twiddling my thumbs all day. Another thing, unless you want to die, don't teleport to people in wild. It's just never a good idea. Also, don't let them teleport to you. Once again, not a good idea. That can get your base raided. And it also, if you teleport to them, they're going to kill you. And then they're going to take your stuff, and then they're not going to feel bad about it. I don't care if they say they're a Nigerian prince or that they are quitting the server and giving you all of their stuff. Just don't teleport to them. It's always going to be a scam. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Leave a like down below if it helped you, and leave a comment telling me what you'd like to see next. But without further ado, peace and later, nerds. Hey, you. You're pretty cool, right? I'd hope so. Well, if you are, join the coolest collection of people on Earth. The Skystormer X Discord. Link in the description.